I wouldn't exactly vlog with this thing, but... Alright, well, howdy. Welcome back to my channel. Various things keeping this old hermit alive. This is a kind of a quick photography one. Doing this on the phone for better or worse, but it's like the last good day out here. Uh, big weather change coming tomorrow, so just wanted to quickly talk about the Fujifilm XM1 here with a VVs sticker on it because we live in vivid days. Uh, and the XF 18mm f2 lens with a square hood from square hoods. Fujifilm shifts us with a square hood. And this one's tighter, better, looks kind of integrated with the body. Basically, you can kind of cosplay this as a mini Leica Q. So, that's kind of what I've been doing a bit lately. Having this in kind of a very high contrast monochrome setting now taking pictures with this and with the 27 millimeter lens not a lot of stuff but just kind of if you want kind of a cheap fun mini me like a q if you want to just kind of look cool with the cool kids with the rich kids you can get this camera body for under uh, for around 200 dollars us in october 2022 Maybe 150 if you're lucky. Lens used, you can get these for around $300. New, they still go for $600. This lens dates back to the original uh, X Pro 1 and they haven't changed it. It's not weather sealed, it does have an aperture ring. And then this square hood is about another 70 bucks. But really, I like it, really stylish. And the XM1s, I, I don't like it quite as much as the others, as the other Fujis. This is a mode dial lens instead of the usual stuff. There's no uh, focus type selector button to switch from manual to uh, autofocus. Having that as a software setting and not a hardware switch is just really annoying when changing lenses and turning the camera off and on and then sometimes when you turn it on or just switch a mode, you lose either your manual focus highlighting or you lose your autofocus and I'll take two or three shots before I realize this lens ain't doing its job. But still, it's a cheap body, X-Trans 1 sensor really great <laughs> little thing it's the smallest x-trans camera you can get and it's kind of a lot of fun uh, and this old 18 mil f2 lens just really pairs well with it so I'll share a few shots from around I can't remember where how far I've taken this out so it might be some things here in the garden and uh, some stuff around the house, but fun little combo. XM1, Fujifilm 18 f2 lens, square hood. Be one of the cool kids without spending the money of the supposedly cool kids and still get some pretty good looking shots.
and figured may as well get some shots with the square hood off. This is what we've got for pancake lenses in the Fuji world. The 27 is smaller than this, but it's still a bit chunky, which is why I don't mind putting the square hood on it. Uh, may not be a lot of pancake lenses from Fuji, but they do make a lot of really good compact primes in their newer stuff. This old one's a lot of fun. Just don't have microphones near it if you're vlogging with it. Use the 16 2.8 for that. Probably also shouldn't be filming with the cigar in my mouth, but like I said, it's the last good day. We're mid-70s right now. It's going to get below freezing here by Monday morning. Uh, Fahrenheit, obviously. So, thought it was a good time to come out, enjoy some cigars and some nice autumn weather before it changes. The change up will be nice too, but. Uh, it's a nice evening. wouldn't exactly vlog with this thing, but ten eighty P thirty frames a second. No microphone input and I'm not don't think the internal ones are that good and this is one of those louder early Fujifilm lenses. But Still looks alright.